Hi everyone, welcome. I'm down here by Wormery, and I've got a couple bins here, the ones that I'm pointing to. You can see they're a little different from the rest, because in most cases I've got some sort of a covering over the contents, but in these it's a little different. Here I'm attempting to round up some mites that have infested my bins, and here I've got various types of bait laid out. Some of the bait is right here, cantaloupe, and this bait right here was really just wet paper, the moisture itself kind of being the bait. And the plastic is there just to prevent evaporation from occurring. Everything out here um, around the plastic should, in theory, be a lot more dry, which is where you would not expect to find any of the mites. But from what I could see here, it looks like we've done a pretty good job over the past two days collecting a lot of mites on these pieces of cantaloupe. I believe that's what's doing the trick. So I'm going to get these up on the bench so I can remove those pieces of bait. And all I'm going to do is rinse them off and return them. Return them to service and let the mites keep coming at them. And I'm hoping that over the next couple days all I need to do is um, repeat. Rinse and repeat, literally. So I'm going to get these up on the bench so I can rinse off the stuff. And we'll do a reset and we'll just get a closer look at how many mites we've collected on each, um, on each bait station in each of these two African nightcrawler bins. So let's get to work. All right, here we've got a little bit more light. We're up on the bench now. So my idea was to, you know, maybe I should have just left a little time for the worms to leave on their own due to the bright lights and then get to work on this because I got a feeling that the mites themselves aren't quite as disturbed by the bright lights and they'll probably stick around a lot longer than the worms. So now that I got some bright lights on, this bin over here. I'm going to just leave it be. Hopefully all these little tiny worms that are stuck to the top of the surface of the plastic will slither away and then we could do this without potentially flushing some baby worms down the sink. Hmm. Or you know maybe I just disregard the mites that are on this plastic since there do seem to be very few and focus more on this uh, on this piece of cantaloupe. Cause look at all those mites. Ay ay ay. I just want to get this thing over to the slop sink and rinse it off and get those mites out of here. So I'll just use this as a tray to carry the stuff over to the sink. Normally I'm using gloves when I'm working down here in my worm bins, but today I figured what the heck the work involves going to the sink and doing some rinsing of the stuff I'm going to be handling anyway. And uh I guess with this paper we should definitely evict these couple of worms off of it. But it almost seems like even though in the in the beginning when I first set this up with only the damp piece of paper, which was drawing some mites, now that we've got a much more alluring piece of bait set up, it seems like it's totally attracting the attention of many, many more worms. So I'm wondering maybe I should just combine these two at this point. Maybe place this on top of there. So we'll set that up when we get this rinsed. So I'm going to put the camera down, go over to the sink and get this rinsed so we could reset it. Okay, I'm back from the sink. And as you can see, I've removed all the mites from both this paper and this piece of cantaloupe. And I didn't bother the plastic. There's some mites on there still, but I didn't want to rinse off these little baby worms. We're going to put them back into this environment because it's drying out quick. Okay, so let's get this reset the way we left it but a little different I think this time right this is good because it's already pretty much soaked which is the way I wanted to leave it like I did last time although it did dry out a little bit I wonder if maybe a double layer might help um, limit the um, its ability to shed all of its moisture I don't know I think that the I think that the real attractor here is this um this piece of fruit really seems to be doing the trick bringing the mites together so they could be eliminated. Let me just press this down a little bit too. So I don't want it to be hitting the plastic. I don't know why. I just feel like if there's kind of more of a little air pocket above it, that's the slightly better deal. And what I didn't do before either was I didn't really press it down, so I think I left the ability for the air to flow around it to um, allow for ventilation under there, but I really want to capture any moisture that attempts to evaporate under there. 
so it creates a nice um, humid place under there which is also in itself going to attract more mites all right i'm gonna go get the other bin we'll do the same thing and as you can see it's the same story here very similar setup this is just a slightly different type of container these are just your everyday bus boxes the other container that we just worked in it was a um it was a vermi bag tote but i've been trying to manage them in a similar way to me it always seems like if i kind of um pair up systems then i'm able to use the um observations of the two systems relative to each other to um, maybe sometimes troubleshoot situations. Yeah, there's a few on here, not too many though. It definitely seems like the um, the main place for the worms, I mean, for the mites to gather is right here on this piece of cantaloupe. Some on the bottom too, but mainly all over the fleshy part. It does seem like a lot of that fleshy, softer melon part, the sweet part of it, not so much the rind, that's obviously attracting them, and there's a lot of them on there, and they've actually done a good job um, stripping that, stripping a lot of that off, too. So, but there's a lot, you know, a lot remaining. There's still quite a few in the system, so we're going to press on, but it does seem like we're kind of getting the results that we're looking for here. Somebody even commented that they repeat this sort of a process a couple times in their bins, and next thing you know it, things are under control again. Kind of what I'm hoping for here. All right, let me get this stuff rinsed. I'll be right back. All right, so once again, there's still mites on this plastic, but not too many. I just didn't want to go rinsing the little worms that are all over the plastic, too. The main focus was getting all those mites off that piece of cantaloupe and, and that piece of paper. So that's exactly what we've got going on here. So let's... Do the same thing. Let's get this whole thing restored and keep on hoping for the best. And at this point, I don't even think it's a matter of hope anymore. I believe, I believe this is going to work, and I hope that we can. Well, there I go, <laughs> hoping. Um, that's that's a fair way to express it. I do hope that this really ends up uh, achieving its objective of getting the mites down to some sort of a reasonable number. I don't mind some mites in my systems, but. The amount that I was seeing in this system was just getting a bit more than I want. So I think it'll be a, it'll be a welcome change to see far fewer mites in both of these systems. And then if this um if this really ends up reaching its goals the way it does seem to be doing so far, I could probably employ a similar tactic uh, in the rest of my systems. So that's where we stand now after a couple days of trying to bait worms out. First we tried using only moisture on the paper. A day later we added the melon which is doing a lot better. And so it continues. So hopefully um, you enjoyed this video. I hope you did. And if you did then please remember to leave me a thumbs up. That's always really appreciated. And also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's really appreciated as well. Alright everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.